Surprise! <laughs> Look who it is! What's up? What are you guys doing? We just found a Target gift card in the park. <laughs> We're gonna see if there's any money on it. Are you serious? It just said thanks for calling, goodbye. What? Is it a prank? I don't know. I'm taking this back, returning it, see if I can get a, a one that works. It, you still don't have a phone? No. I've <laughs> been without a phone for a week. It's crazy. Today's my one day spring break at BYU. They now, we now have a spring break, but it's just Friday. That's my brother Kevin, you already know that, and his wife Chelsea. Kevin saved me in Idaho from his prayer, from falling off that cliff. Actually, everyone did, but especially Kevin. He was telling me that he has a one day spring break. When I went to BYU, we didn't have spring break, just because BYU campus is used for so many different things. They don't have time to have a spring break week of not using campus for school. At least that's the reason we were told. And seriously, throughout the summer, their campus is used for so many different things and different educational weeks. So it's funny, now they have a spring break because everyone was upset about it and we like signed petitions. <laughs> I didn't, but the students did. And uh, I don't know if that's why, but now they have a one day spring break. What, what? <laughs> one day, that's awesome. They're so good. Kevin and his wife, they spent it just outside hiking, had a picnic, found that Target gift card and now they're going to the temple. Good couple, couple goals right there. surprising my friend Levi and uh, he's a seminary teacher by the way that's what I want to do eventually I ran out to move my car so he wouldn't recognize it which I don't think he would and I think he just pulled in so I'm hiding <laughs> but I hope he doesn't look at my car false alarm that wasn't his car So I just noticed these. Look at that. That is amazing. All right, guys. Today I'm going to tell you about the Oreo diet. <laughs> this is real. This is a real this thing. This is a real way. thing. I know this because I have lived this. Way. So here's what happened. There I was in Chicago, support postgraduate college student doing a program boot camp. Do I cook? Absolutely not. Suck it. So what do I do to survive? What's cheap and you can eat every single day? Oreos. They're good every single meal. So that's what I bought. I bought Oreos. And there I had a locker there and I filled it up with peanut butter, mint, and the regular. Oh, mixed it. Mixed it. So I had three flavors and that's what I ate every single day and water. I mean, because you gotta have water. But it turns out eating Oreos every meal kills your appetite. I mean, you're happy all the time because you're gonna eat Oreos, but you feel sick all the time because like just ate Oreos. So what happens is you don't eat as much and I lost 15 pounds in three weeks. <laughs> that's true. So that's, it's a true thing. I was super pudgy. We can get the before and after up here in a bit but yeah I was I was a little fat kid but the Oreo diet actually triggered my weight loss the Oreo diet. <laughs> love you guys bye this guy just got back from Iceland where we might go we want to go we, we want to go. go that's so cool. it's amazing everyone, yeah. everyone should go to Iceland once in a life Ferris wheel. Well, that was a fat joke, but he made me sit away from. 
from my wife. I don't even weigh that much. Yet. I'm bulking, guys. If you guys have tips on how to gain muscle the most efficient, quickest way besides steroids, let me know. <laughs> Also, the last time we were on a Ferris wheel together was at the Lagoon in Utah, and we were just dating, and it was so romantic and fun. That's the last time, huh? Did yeah, we go to Disneyland? No. I don't know. No, we didn't. We got in line, and they were like, "Man, this is too long." Yeah. And they stopped. Like, we've only made it like ten feet up, maybe. No, I can step down right there. Oh yeah. So, that's the only thing about Ferris wheels is that you get on, and then it's like, Mer. and then you wait here for about two minutes, and then you go a little bit. Let's see how it wait. One, two, three, three four. four. Let's enjoy five, it. It's moving. It's moving. Six. Hello, Utah. Seven. Oh, seven. We made it that's to seven good. seconds before stopping. That's pretty stopping. good. But the view is cool. I guess this random company, Chata, is throwing this whole event. So, we just heard about it. Googled it, and on the way home, we came here. So, that's cool. Thanks, Nchata. I think we're rolling. They just had to... Yeah. Oh, well, hey. This is fun. Whoa, it's so trippy when you look at it. This is fun. Thank you, Mike. It is. I just say one thing. You get married, keep going on dates. It makes the marriage just fun and young and... Just keep having a relationship and a friendship. Oh. Uh, this is golf. <laughs> anyway, that's all. That's all I have to say to my new married friends or getting married. Go on dates every week if you can. Also, keep a jacket in the trunk because Nelly would not want to do this if she didn't have a jacket on. That's true. I did have a jacket and a scarf, luckily, in the trunk. Hey, everyone. Bye, everyone. There's a distinct rule that we had to sit on both sides to equal out the way and to not rock the boat or the seat. Nelly just came over and kissed me and we started rocking and they got mad. I regret nothing. Now we're gonna see what we can get for free. I love parties like this. And there's a dance party. We all know who loves the dance parties. Nelly and I are really good party crashers. It's true. I feel like. Yeah, that's a thing. It's true. Tell Gorda you said that. This is rad. I took a little break from the party. It's kind of different when you're married. It's so different. So we heard about this party in a Ferris wheel. So we came and we rode the Ferris wheel and then we saw food and there was just like little appetizers. We went to town on those. Yeah, they're really good. Because we don't have to worry about eating too much because we're already married. So that was fine. We're going to go out. I'm almost 100% sure nobody's really dancing. We don't make fools of ourselves. Our sprinklers and our like lawn mowers. <laughs> Bye, Enchata. Sweet party. 